In this video, I'll go through exam questions that cover the level one criteria, read, write, order and compare large numbers up to one million, which you can find here on the mycemaths.com website under level one. So we'll go through exam questions coming from different exam boards, starting with non-calculator questions. So those questions that appear in the non-calculator part of the exam, and then move to the calculator questions. The first question seems to be from Ed Excel. John writes a large check to be used for publicity. John says we have raised £97,403 for charity. Write this number on the check for John. So that is 97,000. So when we say 1,000, we know we've got three more digits to go. Like one, two, three. And those we're going to fill with 403. So we've written the number in digits. On the other side, you normally write it in words. So 97,000, 400, and 3 pounds only. You write only in a check at the end when you've written the number in words. So practically I've just copied the number written in words here and the check is filled. John wants his menu to offer healthy food. He reads that 617,000 people went to hospital last year with illnesses caused by poor diet. What is 617,000 in numbers? So 617,000. So that means we have three digits after that. We've got the hundreds, tens and units. It just says thousand though, it doesn't say any hundreds, tens or units, so for that reason we're just going to put zeros in there. So this is 617,000 and you could leave the comma out if you like, but I think it's good practice to add it in because it helps with reading and writing of the numbers. Write 246,805 in figures. So 246,000. So that tells me I have another three digits after that. 805. So 805, I write it like this, no tens in there. So I'm going to rewrite the number in the space provided. So 246,000 805. Write these numbers in order from smallest to largest. So we've got 958,514, 9,851, 99,951, 625,854, 57,095. These are all whole numbers, not decimals. So in this case, it means that the number with the fewest number of digits will be the smallest. So the first one has six digits, second one has four, then we have five, six, and five. So the one with four digits, no matter what the digits are, will be the smallest. So 9,851 is the smallest number out of them all. Now we're going to focus on the numbers with five digits. So that is this one here and this one here. So this is 99,951. This is 57,000. 
a 95. So 57 is smaller than 99 anyway. So for that reason, we can just go for 57,095 and then 99,951. But even if you just focus on the first digit, that's a 5, this is a 9, so automatically 57,095 would be next. Now we've got two to compare, this one and this one. So focusing on the first digit, as they both have the same number of digits in total, that's a 9 and this is a 6. So for that reason, 625,854 is smaller than 958,514, which is also the largest number of them all. Write the number 57,095 in words. Write the answer in the box below. So I read the number for you, but of course you didn't know how to read it when you first see it. So we've got the comma here to separate the hundreds, tens and units from the thousands. So I'd say, okay, that's 57, which is 57,000 in this particular case. So I'll write 57 thousand first and then we've got 95 write in digits 32,000. So that is 32, and then we know we have three digits. We've got no hundreds, tens, or units being given to us, so we're going to fill those with zeros. So 32,000. Write in words this number. So we go one, two, three, put a comma there. These are the thousands, so 10,324. Now we're moving to calculator questions. These questions appear in the calculator paper, but you don't necessarily need to use a calculator to answer them, as you will see with the place value questions. So in a recent report, it was estimated that 750,000 people keep hens. Write 750,000 in words. So it was okay for me to work it out. So I went one, two, three, Put the comma in there, so these are the thousands, so 750,000. We've got no hundreds, tens or units. Write 807,205 in figures. Figures means the same thing as digits or numbers. So we've got 807,000, 1, 2, 3, 205, so 205, no tens in there, like 235 just 205, so that's why we put the zero. So 807,200. 
and five. Which one of the following list is in decreasing order from the largest to the smallest? Decreasing, that means going down, so from the largest to the smallest, as it's been given here as well. So we've got three numbers in each of these options. 252,080, 252,300, 250,900. Okay, so it looks like it's the same numbers in the other options as well. So these three numbers, all three of them have six digits. So for that reason, we're going to need to focus on the first digit. Let's have a look. Two, two, two. That doesn't tell us much. So that means we need to focus now on the second digit. That's a five, that's a five, and that's a five. Again, that doesn't help us differentiate. So we're going to need to look at the next digit, the third. Two, two, zero. So this is the smallest of them all, because the third digit, which has more value than the fourth or the fifth or the sixth digit, that is zero, which is less than two. So now we need to focus only on the first two numbers. Looking at the fourth digit, that's a zero, that's a three. So this tells me that this is the second number, the second largest number. So we now know that the middle number is the greatest or the largest of them all. Then the second one is this first number here. And then finally, this one. So let's look for this middle number being at the start. That seems to be the case for option C and D. Okay, so second number, we need that to be 252,080. And that's the case here. So option C is the correct one. Write in digits 124,650. So 124,000. So we've got one, two, three digits to go there. 650. Circle 32,089 written in digits. So 32,000. We know we've got three digits after. And 89. So no hundreds. 89. So the option should look like that. Where is that? That's this one here. Write these numbers in order, starting with the smallest. So we've got minus 8, 3, minus 5, minus 1, 2, 0, and minus 2. I'm going to draw quickly a number line to help us with that. There comes 0. And on the right, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And then we've got negative numbers on the other side. And I'll stop there. Negative 8, where is that? Or minus 8. So I've circled it. I've got 3, which is here. We've got negative five, got negative one, got two, got zero, and negative two. So starting with the smallest means we've got to start this way and go to the right. Looking at the circled numbers, 
we've got negative 8, then negative 5, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 2, and 3. And that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 numbers. Then we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 numbers. So we've included them all. And that's the end of the questions.